Okay, welcome to the first of a series of glow sticks videos that I'm going to do for uh, Poker Savvy Plus. I got a couple of requests um, to film videos at 100 and 200 no limit so that people could uh, see how these concepts are applied to opponents playing the same sticks they are. Because I think that 100 and 200 are one of the more popular uh, limits of uh, the registered users for Poker Savvy, so this should be pretty applicable for most of you. And instead of going over how to play head up in this video, because I think I've done a great deal of that in my other videos, I'm going to go over uh, how I would change my style because I'm playing lower stakes. And I was originally planning to do this as you know, all part of one long match as I usually do for my higher stakes videos, but I couldn't get a match that lasted longer than about five minutes, so you're going to get a series of little mini matches, which I hope will be okay. Uh, this first guy, we're playing at 200 no limit. I was told by one of my friends that he's a regular there. Uh, he puts in a lot of hours, seems to be at least a decent winner. And I'm going to use him to go over my first point about medium and low stakes head up, and that is that for the most part, uh, low and medium stakes head up players don't deal with aggression very well, uh, whether it be pre-flop, post-flop, or whatever. They either fold too much, or more often they call too much. Or another trait I see that's typical of a lot of players is that they'll fold too much for a while and then get fed up and start calling. So. I've been re-raising this guy pretty relentlessly pre-flop, and I'm going to do it until he starts pushing. So far, he's folded to every single one of my re-raises. And he's opening a fair amount on the button, so I've been able to get up almost 15 big blinds just by stealing his opens. So my general philosophy for low stakes play is that I play very aggressively and wide open until an opponent proves to me that they're good enough that that's not going to work. And so I'm going to continue to re-raise and hammer on him pre-flop until he starts shoving or calling frequently enough that that's not going to work. <laughs> he seems to play really, really tight out of position. I think he's called one of my raises so far. Alright, he finally shoved to one of these. <laughs> 